lecture, we will review the psychological effects of prostitution. Why do people start prostitution? And a former prostitute who shares her story and symptoms dealing with mental health issues. In an article by Institute of Counseling, According to Jenkins, 2020, prostitution is the practice of engaging in relatively indiscriminate sexual activity, in general with someone who is not a spouse or a friend, in exchange for immediate payment of money or other valuables. Prostitutes may be female or male or transgender, and prostitution may entail heterosexual or homosexual activity. But historically, most prostitutes have been women and most clients men. Now, why do people start prostitution? Well, people are involved in prostitution for various reasons. The most common being unemployment or a desire to improve their income. Prostitution can be a lucrative business, but prices vary enormously. Also, no skills or qualifications are required for the job, making it a possible source of income for most people. It is also relatively easy to find work as the demand for prostitutes is great. In many cases, prostitutes can determine when and how often they work, allowing for greater flexibility in their time. Now, in regards to the psychological effect of prostitution on prostitutes, post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD is characterized by anxiety, depression, insomnia, irritability, flashbacks, emotional numbing, and hyperalertness. Symptoms are more severe and long-lasting when the stressor is of human design. PTSD is normative among prostitutes, especially women. Now, Farley in 2003 found a PTSD prevalence of 68% among those in prostitution in nine countries. This rate was comparable to the rates of PTSD among battered women seeking shelter, rape survivors, and survivors of state-sponsored torture. Now let's move on to a personal story of a prostitute during her time of prostitution. Ray, a former prostitute, shared her story in December 8, 2016 on mumsnet.com, entitled, I didn't think of my prostitution as traumatic, but it left me with PTSD. According to her, quote unquote, it took me a long time to fully understand my symptoms, my irritability, the anger, the fear, the strains sense that life no longer had any purpose. Not all women in prostitution will suffer from PTSD, but many of us do, she goes on to explain. Even in the most conservative findings, prostitutes are shown to be significantly more likely to suffer from PTSD than the general population. She states, For us, it is the sight of our suffering. Only by confronting that have I begun to heal, she states. Now let's go into some of the symptoms of prostitution depression as a result of a change of identity. Pimps create a rapid emotional dependency for the prostitute by starting and changing the prostitute's name as a means of removing her from her identity and past. Studies have shown that this could lead to bothersome symptoms and depression in the prostitute. Suicidal ideation as a result of violence and social invisibility. Low self-esteem as a result 
pronounced perception of the prostitute as an object who supplies a financial income for the pimp. A prostitute is perceived as body parts, a commodity for sexual pleasure. Their feelings and emotions are irrelevant. Self-hate as a result of the pimp breaking the prostitute's psyche and spirit. Pimps often use psychological power and brainwashing to break the prostitute's psyche and spirit. Other means of ownership used by pimps are specific symbolic tattoos. All of these facts are internalized by the prostitute, resulting in intense self-hate, which may continue years after breaking away from prostitution. Dissociation is another one. This is a consequence of both sexual abuse endured in childhood, as well as sexual violence experienced in adult prostitution. In order to survive such exploitation and harsh violence, the woman learns to dissociate the body from the mind. She tries to protect her spiritual self from bodily scars. Subsequently, as a result of such psychological harm, these women fall victim to severe depressive disorders and anxiety and are continuously hypervigilant. In my next lecture, we will review the porn industry.